Patty and Ralph need to sell this house because it's just too small for their family of six, but they still feel attached to the beach home that Ralph built himself. I mean, my heart and soul's in this house, and gosh, it's tough to sell it. Which may be why they haven't changed it to suit potential buyers. The home is dated and unappealing to their target market. What on earth is this? They're a little on the high side. I always say to Ralph that he thought he was going to marry somebody taller. So I'll be using smart staging and design tricks. Oh, that's a great idea. To turn this unsellable house into one that sells. Oh. This is like a wow, 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 wow. Folly Beach, South Carolina is a surf town with plenty of shops, restaurants, and of course, waves. Many properties here serve as vacation rentals, but Ralph and Patty's four kids have been born and raised here, slowly outgrowing the house that Ralph built. I don't want to sell it, but you know, it's something that we have to do. We have too much stuff and we need a bigger place to put that stuff, so it's time to move on. Ralph, Reno, and other quirks of the home could be keeping buyers at bay because the house isn't getting any bites. Hold on, I'm getting from the east. Life's a beach, they say. That is until you try and sell a house by the beach. Outdated style, unfinished reno, turn what could be a calming beach retreat into a buyer's no-no. This 1,400-square-foot, three-bedroom, two-bath home is listed at $399,000 and has been on the market for almost two years. This beach house is on stilts, which is a bonus, because in areas like this, which are prone to hurricane and flooding, if your house isn't on stilts, it's very difficult to get insurance. Well, I better get inside and see what the problems are. Hello. What would be fab is if you could show me around the house and then I can see what the problems are. OK. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, this is the dining room. This is where we eat dinner. Uh -huh. And that's where the kids are on the computer. Do you use that sofa much? Not at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> it just sits there. Right. Yeah, sure. It's just there as a yeah. prop. We don't use it at all. It's a fabulous big room. Right. But if your eyes get drawn to this area, yeah, yeah it's not the right. best first impression. And this is where we watch TV and uh -huh. hang out. But it's a big, big room. Right. It is. And yeah. I love how it's open plan. Yeah. The only thing is, is at the moment, just the way the furniture is laid out with the sofa there, sofa here, I don't think it looks as big as it could. Right. It kind Doesn't of chops up flow. the room. Yeah. 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 What on earth is this? That's our ceramic tile for. Is this for dancing? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> now, then we used to have a wood stove here. Once uh, we started having kids, we had to get rid of the wood stove. You can even see where the chimney... Oh, you chimney, can see the chimney. Yeah, yes. where it had gone through there. And then we just we put the tile there. I don't know why we never put wood there. Yeah. We thought this would look good, but... <laughs> it's one of the drawbacks, though, because mm. the people walk in and don't know what this is doing here. Yep. And then they look up and see the square and they think maybe water damage. damage or, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. it was just that we had to replace it with central heat yeah. and air. And also, I think the problem is that they're, they're going to think that if they replace this, they're going to have to replace all the floors. Exactly. And it's going to be right. work. Which is be more and space. if they think there's going to be a lot of work, it means that they'll lowball you. Exactly. Right, absolutely. And that's yeah. what's been happening. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it does look a bit strange. So this is the kitchen. This is the kitchen and this is the... Far. Right. Um, it's been pretty useless. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is where the kids and Ralph like to put things on top, so <laughs> right. it looks all messy. Right. So it it yeah. drives me nuts. So you have to run around hiding. I up. do. I yeah. run around and I hide everything in the drawers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah don't look in the drawers. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it yeah. drives me nuts. <laughs> Ralph's very stuck in his ways. He doesn't like change at all. That's why everything in the house has stayed the same all these years. Now, can I ask a question? They're a little on the high side. I'm quite... I consider myself relatively tall, and I can only just reach the top. I tell you, this... I don't know what I was thinking when I was uh, putting those things up. Ralph thought he was going to marry a tall lady, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I have to jump up on the counter, and so do the kids, to get the yeah. dishes up the top. Yeah. That's easily sold. But the, the floor is uh. a little on the dated side. <laughs> you think? Come yeah. on! Come I on. think things have changed, Ralph, since 1983. <laughs> <laughs> If you, the kitchen cupboards are a bit dated and the floor right. means that the kitchen looks a bit tired. I don't think there's much point spending a huge amount on a kitchen before you sell the house right. because someone else thinks that they're just paying for your taste in kitchens. But right, definitely right. a lick of paint is, is a wonderful thing. And so through here, what's this? I love how it's open plan that one room leads on to another. Right. It's brilliant. Yeah, it's pretty open. So this is the master bedroom. Pretty good size master yeah. bedroom. Not much in the decorating, because right, you know yeah. I'm not good at that. Just need some help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's help. why I'm here, Patty. Yeah, yeah. 
as you said, it's really big, but at the same yeah. time, it's cluttered. You know, with the four kids, we don't have much storage, yeah. Yeah. so we put everything in here to keep it. Yeah, it definitely, again, it just looks a bit on the tired side. It's, you know, our house, so it's perfect, but in other people's eyes, it needs a lot of work. That makeup table looks like it's seen some action. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, this is all, this was his grandmother's. Oh, so there's a dressing area in there. Right. Yeah. Women love a good dressing area. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited about this house, though, because it's unusual. Yeah, it is. And I think that's a bonus if it looks amazing, yeah. because I think people remember it and it stands out from the, from the crowd. Right. And it's a popular area. It is. Houses in this neighbourhood are currently selling for between $350,000 and $380,000. At $399,000, Patty and Rouse is listed high, and it's not showing well enough to beat out the lower price competition. The couple's realtor, Mary Ann, knows they have to step up their game to win an offer. There has been a lot of sales in this price range, however, we're not one of them. So they go into these new cute homes around the corner and we can't compare to it. I'm asking Mary Ann to hold an open house to see exactly what's stopping buyers from placing an offer. Not really a big fan of the dining room right when you come in the front door. What do you think no. about that? Or the couch, I don't know. Yeah, that doesn't really make much sense. Yeah, this is uh, interesting. I'd rather have the hardwood floors all the way through. I'm not really crazy about this cabinetry. What do yeah, you think? Or the knobs. Or the knobs. That's old. Oh, ouch. Green carpet. It doesn't feel real light and airy, though it has lots and lots of space and high ceiling. So we had the open house. There was negative comments, which is to be expected. Right. The main feedback we had from buyers was the house was dated and they were worried it was going to take a lot of work to get it up to a turnkey condition. Things like the ceramic tiles, they think, ooh, that's going to be a lot of work, we'll have to redo the whole floor. And I think that scares people off. They also said that considering how high the ceilings were, it feels quite dark in here. Yeah. Is that something that you've experienced? Yeah, when yeah. the sun's not out and it's kind of, it's dark in here, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and I think that has to do with the paint. Easily remedied. It's amazing, the power of paint. It totally transforms the room. And I think once we've done the work, this house is going to look absolutely fantastic. Right. So are you ready to do that? I'm ready to go. Absolutely. Can't wait to get started. I'm, I'm ready to rock and roll. I got a master plan to make this house more sellable, starting with a new and improved first impression. I'll be painting the walls a pale colour with a hint of warmth that buyers will find inviting. I'll relocate a hut from the kitchen hall and paint it out white to brighten the area more. A bench along the opposite wall will give function and balance to the space. I'll add decorative graphic plates to the hutch, colourful cushions to the bench and plants to invigorate the otherwise neutral area. The seating area will get the same paint and trim to create flow. I'll reposition the furniture around a new decorative hardwood feature that will install in place of the tiled floor. Orange and red accessories will energise the space. The kitchen will be transformed as we tear down the existing bar and rip up the old grey laminate floor in favour of a new tile. The cupboards will be lowered for easier access and the dining table will be moved from the front hall into its rightful home. Finally, the master bedroom will be painted a fresh cream colour. I'll flank the bed with side tables to add storage and create symmetry. New linens and throw pillows will make the bed more of a focal point. I think if it's turnkey, then people are going to fall in love with it because it is a unique beach house. But at the moment, no. Looks like somebody forgot to dust. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the inside of the house has been cleared of clutter. So the kids and I are getting to work on curb appeal by tidying the area under the stilts of the home. Because this is the first place that buyers see when they come up the drive, it's got to be super tidy. So would you mind helping me with the bikes and the surfboards and just moving them over there so people can't see them? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Staging your house doesn't mean you stop living, so find ways to tidy while keeping items you use often accessible. While I hold down the fort with the kids, I'm sending Patty and Ralph to see a house in their neighbourhood. This house has 1,400 square feet of space, two bedrooms and two bathrooms. It sold for $350,000 in only 35 days. Oh, nice fireplace. I like the, the interior decorating, definitely. So maybe if we spruced up the inside to where when they walk into the door, it's more of a like... They say, wow. Wow. Yeah, you know, look at this. Look, look what they've done. Oh, like the cabinets, they're low. <laughs> yeah, you can reach up there, huh? 
This is a good sized bedroom. This looks like an old Folly Beach. It's definitely home. a beach house, yeah. yeah definitely Folly old. Beach house. Yeah, this is like ready to go in, ready to... Right, they wouldn't have to do anything buying this house. Buying right. our house, they'd have to do... Absolutely. Put some money out to buy our house. We gotta have our wow factor when people walk when people in. people walk they in. They gotta be saying, wow, look at the inside of this house. Right. Hey. Hi. Wow. wow, look at I this. Know. We've made a real start on the decluttering. So how was the comparable house? It was bright, enjoy, yeah. you know what I mean? It was yeah. new paint. Yeah. That was probably the only thing I could find that was different that we could change here. It was like three rectangle boxes in a row as you walk through. Yeah. So basically you're saying the layout of this house is far Much and away better. better. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. I want everyone to walk in and just go, wow, I want to buy this house now. Right. So do you want to start helping me with a few projects? Sounds Absolutely, good. let's go. Brilliant. You know David. Hey. Hey, hey David. Hey, so Rob, you're just in time to help me. All right. You guys are going to rip up the dance floor. No, not my dance floor. Yep. Uh, me okay. and Patty are going to go and do some painting, so see you later. Let's do some demo. Absolutely. What do okay. I need to do? You're going to tape off the floor first. We've got to protect this, OK? All right. Just run right along the seam there. This demo we're going to do shouldn't be a problem, unless you don't want to do it. Oh, no, absolutely. Yeah, you ready? I, hey, I'd love to tear this floor off. <laughs> OK, good. You don't know how many years I've been sick of seeing it. Ralph's looking forward to getting this done. <laughs> so you hit it real hard? Just, or? just break it, yep. Right. Keep on going. Oh, oh look lucky. at that. We're lucky. Patty, did you buy this furniture? No, I didn't. A, a friend of mine that passed away um, left it to me. Right. So you're all right with us? painting it a paler colour. Yes. Um, I just think it will really brighten up the room, because it's quite a big bit of furniture, and then it will go with the other bits of furniture that we're painting paler, because the whole idea is to really brighten up the house. I'm just using this light sandpaper so yeah. the primer sticks better okay. to the surface. It's amazing how the house is looking bigger already, though. Oh, it does. It and brighter. Great. Yeah, I was surprised. We'll create a cool pattern. Uh huh. We'll even it out in the space. Man, that's a good idea. The wood is going to look great. Ralph was helping me prep the floor for the new hardwood feature that will replace the old tile. We're also taking out some of the existing hardwood so the feature will extend the length of the conversation area and feel balanced in the room. Have you ever painted before? Oh, yeah. It's, I don't think it's one of my best skills, <laughs> but I'm learning. Painting heirloom furniture can feel like sacrilege, but times and styles change. Just a coat of paint can prolong the life of otherwise tired-looking furniture. And now for the moment of truth, OK? If it lines up flush, we're in good shape. If not, our day has just started. It's going to look nice. Oh, you okay. lucked out, huh? For sure. <laughs> Man, why didn't I do this 20 years ago? <laughs> These cupboards are going to look so much better when they're painted. I can't wait to see them. And also lowered. Yeah. <laughs> I must have driven you absolutely mad. Oh, you had to get a chair to get into these ones. Just sometimes changing the handles and painting the cupboards makes all the difference. Two down, three to go. I need more help to tackle this dated and dysfunctional kitchen. So the couple's four kids are chipping in. OK, guys, these are the kitchen cabinets which we've taken off, so we need to paint them. We have to paint this one. Yes, you do have to paint it. This is just primer, so we only need a very small oh. amount. And then we will paint over the top with proper paint. That's Excellent. good. That is perfect. And we're also lowering the cupboard, so you don't have to clamber around. Oh, nice. All right, good. Yeah. <laughs> Many people think you need to put in an all-new kitchen to sell their house. But depending on the market you're in, putting in a new kitchen may drive up the value beyond what your buyers can afford. Do your research and make the most of your current kitchen. I am so looking forward to getting this floor up. It was put in in 1983 when the house was built, and now it looks very dated. And the thing is, kitchens sell houses, so I want this one to look fresh and bright. After Ralph helps him prep the floors, David will create a pattern with a new hardwood so that his inlay will look like a design feature instead of a fix. Well, that was great, guys. Good work. You're all very talented painters, but would you mind leaving so we can finish the job? 
That'll be sure. <laughs> See you when it's finished. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. Buyers said that this house was dark, and I think they're right. The combination of the green carpet and the green walls was very dreary. So we're painting it this lovely pale colour, which has a bit of warmth in, and then we're finishing it off with a crisp white trim, and it's going to look fantastic. If you're using strong colours like red and oranges, make sure you keep the wall colour nice and simple, otherwise it's much too overwhelming on the eye. Decorative plates are great for staging because they are less personal than art. These are perfect for this beach house and give the impression of a laid-back retreat. We painted this hutch white and added these really pretty plates and now it makes such an impact. Choose flowers with a light, pleasant fragrance to give a fresh impression to buyers without overwhelming them. I've chosen different lamps for each space so buyers will see the definition with a cohesive colour scheme. These vintage maps of Charleston Harbour are really pretty, but they also tie into the whole beach feel. We use many thin layers of varnish, which will make this floor more durable than if we did one thick layer. Ripping up that old floor has made such a difference in here. The new tile makes the kitchen look much more modern and bright. We've lowered the cabinets in the kitchen to provide easier access, and we've added crown molding to appeal to buyers. Storage is a necessity to home buyers. They always want more. This unit will also make tidying up for showings a lot easier on Ralph and Patty. It is amazing the difference fresh linen and a bedspread make in a master bedroom. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Oh, oh look, look at, at this. this. The entryway was confusing with the dining room table and computer crowding it. But now it's a proper front hall with a bench for functionality. Look at oh that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that looks awesome. So we took it from in the passageway, painted it, Put it there. Change the doorknob. Change the doorknobs. Door what do you think of the paint colour? Oh, I love Beautiful. it. Beautiful. Because remember the buyers were saying that it felt dark in here. And now it looks so bright. Oh. You want people to say, wow. Well, it's, it's definitely coming. wow. Yes. It's like any sales thing. It's making your house look as good as possible. Right. Wow. I know, and then look at this. Oh, my Lord. That looks awesome. Before, the living room had an awkward layout and tile floor, which we've replaced with a new decorative hardwood inlay and a floor plan that maximizes the space. Look oh, at look that. at the floor! <laughs> the dance floor! <laughs> so beautiful. David did such a good job. He yeah. absolutely did. It looks oh. like it's always been here, don't you think? Yeah. Yes, beautiful. it does. <laughs> and I like how the, the floor is, like, centered. Yes. And it makes this into its own little room. I know. It's amazing. That was a bonus, big bonus. I can't believe he was able to do what he was able to do with that. And we got these vintage prints of Charleston Harbour. This is a beach house, right, you know? Right. And you want to you wanna stress that when buyers come round, and they look really beautiful. That is amazing. I'm shaking like crazy. Are you shaking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This looks so beautiful. Then look at your new kitchen. Oh, <laughs> look, at, look at that cabinets. Oh, this is awesome. So what? bright in here now. The kitchen was dated and lacked the functionality and style that buyers demand. So we updated the floors, lowered and painted the cupboards, and made space for dining. And look at the floor. Yeah, the new floor. Doesn't it make such a difference? It's, it's so a much brighter. It's a huge difference. What happened to my black floor? I know. <laughs> and look, now the cabinets, you can actually get into the cabinets. Look at oh, that. That's unbelievable. Now we can use them. 
and my famous bar is gone. Yeah, Your famous, famous bar is gone, hey, I know. I'll, but I'll take this over the bar yeah. any day. Look this at the table. And that's our table? Yeah. Yes, that's your table. And then we reupholstered the chairs. That's what buyers want to see. You know, they want to see a designated space where people can get together and eat. Right. And that's what we've given Beautiful. them. Look at that. And then we have these lovely movable butcher's blocks. Oh, so I you love can move that. them in. It's yeah. extra storage yeah. space, extra that. cutting space. Oh, this, this is like a wow, 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 wow. Y'all did a great job. Well, thanks, Ralph. Great job. Oh, my, oh, my God. Lord. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my it God. It looks like a this new is bedroom. So beautiful. The master bedroom was not the retreat buyers are looking for, so we refreshed it with new paint and bed linens. I cannot this, believe this is, this is so the same pretty. bedroom. All we did is we took out the furniture and the clutter, we painted that. When I saw Ralph's grandmother's makeup table, I was just shocked to see how beautiful it came because it was really a heart and piece of furniture. And Definitely. we gave you some storage units here for beside the bed so you can keep your stuff there. That's, That's awesome. That's awesome. And then, uh, this is probably my favorite bit in here, look. We've got this storage unit. Oh, look at so that. So you can put all your oh, stuff that's in. Awesome. It can all be neat and tidy. Oh, that's a that's great awesome. idea. I've never seen anything like this. It looks this. so clean. Man, Man. It's beautiful. I'm taking it from your um, your reaction that you're pleased with your bedroom. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and you see there's a kind of theme going on. Everything ties in. It feels like everything was meant to be here together. It's wicked awesome. <laughs> is, this, is this wicked awesome? It's definitely wicked awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and right. the good thing about this is people are probably not going to recognize it as the same house. Oh, no. Not at all. No. The house before on a scale of 1 to 10, I would say, was maybe less than 1. And now it is absolutely a 10. Tommy and Heather need to sell their country house quickly. I'm pregnant. So we want to sell now more than ever. But a multitude of unfinished DIY projects. What yes. were they thinking? A mismatched decor are turning potential buyers away. Somebody's got to do all that work. And at this price range, I, it can't be me. I'm here to help. You've got a lot of furniture in here. It makes the room half the size. With a budget of $5,000 and some smart design and staging tips, I'm going to transform this unsellable house into one that sells. That is beautiful. Walterboro, South Carolina is known for its beautiful properties and traditional rural lifestyle. Famous for fishing and hunting, as well as its close proximity to metropolitan areas, it's ideal for buyers looking for all that country living has to offer. But this 3,000 square foot, three bedroom, three bath house, listed at $265,000, has been on the market for an incredible three years. Big houses on big lots have tremendous appeal to potential buyers, but rural buyers are fewer and farther between. So your house has to be picture perfect and complete. And I think there's some unfinished business here. Tommy and Heather and their three-year-old daughter, Ava, love living in the country. But their dream of buying a new home has come to a standstill. I would like to move on, especially because I didn't start out in this house, so I would like to have a house where I get to pick everything inside. My mother helped uh, a lot with the initial decoration. It's uh, kind of... Tacky. Yeah, tacky. And Tommy's mother's not just their decorator, she's their real estate agent too. Tommy and Heather need to declutter, they need to straighten out the closets, they need to do some painting, some vivid colors. She sometimes gives you her opinion and you don't really want it. Tommy and Heather have just found out some news that's really put on the pressure. I'm pregnant. So now that we found out our family's growing, we want to sell more than ever. This house has great curb appeal. Sweeping drive, manicured plants, beautiful porch. And that means one thing, the problems are on the inside. So your house has been on the market for three years, which must be just so stressful. So I think the best thing is if you show me around and then I can get to grips with what the problems are and then we can move on from there. Okay. So this room is nice and neutral. The fireplace was kind of main focal point, but we didn't get around to kind of finishing up the way we wanted to. Right, so, so are you a man who fin starts a job and sometimes doesn't finish it? His dad <laughs> finishes all his projects. Oh. <laughs> That's a problem, I think, for buyers, because if they see unfinished DIY, they're like, if they didn't finish that, what else haven't they finished? 
Aside from the fireplace, the living room shows well, so it's on to the dining room. It's quite funny, that room's quite modern, and then this room is very traditional. His mom helped him decorate. I got an A for effort, but <laughs> an a, a for effort. I don't know about for design. No, it's, it's really great to have a formal dining room. Buyers love them. It's, it's a great size, and it leads straight onto the kitchen. What a nice big kitchen. The floors are very smart. We redid those about four years ago. It's funny because this doesn't seem to match. This is quite so modern with the, the gunmetal gray, and then you've got the pine. We did try to change the handles, though. I see, you've changed yeah. one. Well, this was part of his mother's idea, the shells. I like this design. Did you only buy two handles? So basically, it's not just Tommy who doesn't finish a project. Is that the case? Ooh. I believe that would be the case. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> wow, is there a reason why you have the biggest safe I've ever seen in my life in your sitting room? That's my safe. Do you have the crown jewels in there? <laughs> yeah, because the thing is, is you've got a lot of furniture in here. Do you know what that does? It makes the room half the size. What is this? This looks like a that weapon of be, torture. That would be Heather's. And it looks like it gets a lot of action. It does. <laughs> Look at it, it's all the stuff. Well, why is it here? You try to keep the downstairs clean, so you just take it upstairs. That was, you know, kind of the theory. This is the bathroom. This is, the, it is the bathroom, but think about this. It's all the blue, it's like when you're in the shower, it's like you're in the ocean. The bathroom upstairs was definitely before I got here, because I hate fish. More unfinished DIY? Well, that is from Heather. Let's see, she bought the wallpaper remover, never used it. She took down the cabinet and tore half the wall down and never fixed it. And there's also a scary, huge hole in the ceiling. Tommy. Um, must have <laughs> fallen overnight at some point. Wow, so I can see that pink from here. Holy moly. This is very pink. I mean, it's like indigestion medicine pink. This was originally our nursery. Yeah. When we designed the room, it was all about, you know, a little girl. But now it does seem a little bright. And look, see, smoke alarm hanging from the ceiling. But it does work, so that's a problem. Well, I'm sure that will really reassure the buyers. <laughs> this house is fantastic. I just wanted to say it's the most beautiful house from the outside. But there's these unfinished jobs, and there's some slightly dodgy decor. So I think we need to make this house more about you and less about your mother-in-law. Sounds good to me. Excellent, let's get started. They're not making the most of their space. And the problem is, buyers are picky. The rural property market's taken a kicking, and buyers want a turnkey ready property. Houses in this neighborhood sell between $207,000 and $240,000. At $265,000, Heather and Tommy's price is high. Still, realtor Audrey thinks this house should have sold. This the nicest neighborhood, or one of the nicest neighborhoods in the area, and it's got two lots. I've asked Audrey to set up an open house. Then I can report back to Tommy and Heather what the buyers are really saying. There's like no room in here with this huge furniture. You're right, there's too much furniture in this room. This is way too big. I really don't like this dark burgundy. There's um, maintenance that has to be done in the house. What yes. were they thinking with that bathroom? Oh, that's a home improvement project right there. Oh. It's not something that you just wait till it all falls apart. Unfortunately, Tommy's not one to do it. And Heather is not one to stand behind and pushing him. I don't think this is the one for nothing. No. Now it's time to break the news to Tommy and Heather. The kitchen. I love the countertop, weren't so sure about the cupboards. But then they came in here and they did comment on the two-tone paint job. Which I know you did, Heather. <laughs> My hard work. <laughs> I think the biggest bone of contention with buyers... The bathroom. The bathroom. They, I think, to quote exactly was like, this looks like a home-done project. And it was. And it was. <laughs> When buyers are looking around and they see lots of little things, they're totaling up in their head and they think it's going to cost more than it actually is. At that point, they said, this house is going to need quite a lot of money, which I disagree. But I think it's all cosmetic, it's all simple things. You've got to be super competitive and your house has to look as good as it possibly can. 
and you know you you seem to be like on board with that. I am. Good. When you're selling your house, you don't need to invest in expensive upgrades. With a little bit of money well spent will definitely help you achieve your asking price and a quicker sale. For this makeover, we have a total budget of $5,000 to bring some of that beautiful country feeling in. First, we're starting in the dining room. This two-toned room feels dated and cramped. We'll get rid of the burgundy paint, repurpose the hutch, add a contemporary light fixture and a space-expanding mirror. The kitchen cupboards are in great shape, but they do clash with the new countertop. I'm giving it a quick style update by adding a tile backsplash, painting the cabinet doors and replacing the hardware. The living room's layout is awkward. It looks smaller and darker than it really is. We'll remove the giant television and safe. Reposition the furniture and add warmth with coordinating accents. This bedroom has great bones and a beautiful bed, but buyers can't see past the shocking pink and the gym equipment. We'll paint the walls, replace the equipment and add matching side tables and lamps. A seating area and new window treatments will draw focus to the lovely view outside. Last but not least, we are going to totally defish this bathroom. So we've got the fairies. Do you think they can go in? Yeah! Yeah, excellent. Wow. That's loud. That was loud. That is a good plan. Should we do it together? If you can get your children involved and make decluttering a positive experience, they're much more likely to keep the house tidy later on during showing. A little bit heavy. Ava and I are making great progress downstairs. Upstairs, it's a different story. Oh, I've been looking for this, actually. That's all my what stuff. What is that? It blows my mind that he keeps from high school. I mean, seriously, this is not a bachelor pad anymore. He had old trophies and posters, for crying out loud. I mean, who keeps posters for 15 years? Good job, honey. I'm not sure if Heather and Tommy are taking this as seriously as I'd like. That's why I'm sending them to a comparable house for a reality check. Just under 1,700 square feet, this three-bedroom, two-bath house listed for $135,000, sold in five months. Oh, wow. Nice and bright in here. Yeah. Nice. That's an open kitchen. I like the color of the cabinets. It's very fresh looking. All the handles seem to match. Doesn't feel cluttered, claustrophobic. Nice bedroom here. It's nice and open. It doesn't make you feel like you have a stomach ache. They don't have a bunch of junk. Nice big baseboards. Mm -hmm. Crown molding's nice. I love this. Yeah, it's nice. Very nice. In the shower. Yeah, I like that built-in. I can definitely see where we need to do some improvement. I would have to agree with you on this one. I didn't measure the rooms, but you know you don't need to. It feels so so large. It's move-in ready. There's no unused gym equipment in the room. It's nice and open. So I can see how you know it sold quickly. Yeah, it's depressing too. <laughs> depressing. <laughs> While Tommy and Heather have been stealing tricks from the competition, work has been well underway back at the house. Lucky for them, we've been doing the really heavy lifting. Hey, guys. Hi. What do you think of the comparable house? It's very fresh, very open. Mm -hmm. Clean, modern? Yes. Did it have an aquarium-based bathroom? No fish. Was there mismatched furniture and two tones? No. No. But um, what do you think made it sellable? It's move-in ready. So, that's what we want buyers to feel here. They can see themselves in the, in the space. They're moving ready. They don't have to do any work. So do you think you've learned something from the comparable house? We have. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So you're ready to get started? Yes. We're ready. Fantastic. Well, I'm going to dump the rest of this clutter. And would you go and get changed so we can start work? All, all right. right. You know when we had the open house? All the buyers said they loved the solid surface. It's definitely in right now, for sure but not so keen on the cupboard. Not so much, no. no. Well, you know what? The good thing about this is it's an easy fix. Yeah. I mean, I like the detail. We won't change that, but we are going to paint them. See, the problem is, is there's no point doing an upgrade on the countertops and then not going in for the cupboards. You have it's to like finish it. an unfinished job. There's quite a few of those in this for house. For sure. Just because you're living in the country doesn't mean you want a dated farmhouse look. I think a lot of people in this area are looking for a more sleek and modern look, and that's what we're giving them. The cabinets and breakfast bar are solid wood, so first it's important to give them a light sand and prime before you paint. 
We've rented a paint sprayer to give the covers an even coat, because it's the best way to get that factory finish. There's no need to replace dated cabinets if they're in good condition. A coat of paint can cost as little as $100 and leaves lots of room in the budget for the rest of the house. While we wait for the cupboards to dry, Dave has a job for Tommy. So what are we doing here today? You have a great chair rail on the wall. You have a great baseboard. Now we're just going to fill in the gap with these applied moldings. So we're going to create wainscoting in your dining room. Do you know what that is? Yeah, I've heard of wainscoting. Potato, potato, wainscoting, wainscoting. As long as it looks good, who cares what you call it. You've used the chop saw before? I have. OK, well, so as a reminder, it's your handle. Yes. It's your blade. Blade. This is wood. Let's cut it. Wainscoting not only adds visual appeal to a formal dining room, it's also practical, as it protects the walls against nicks and scuffs. Really neat process uh, when you see it. Kind of life changing. Not really, but it was cool. So, the key to this gun is speed. We'll line this up, hold it in place, push the gun in, pop it. Pop it, pop it. Pop it. it looks good, good hey? Eh? Yeah. For sure. We'll just do the same thing all around the room, paint it up, it's gonna look amazing. Working with David was, uh, was pretty cool. Yeah, man, that nail gun is awesome, isn't it? So, Heather, have you ever tiled before? No, but I hope you have. I have these exact tiles on my house at home. And the point of backsplashes are they protect the walls because you don't get oil or water. They're easy to clean. So I have got my trowel. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get a scoop of adhesive and then just put the adhesive onto the wall and then apply the tiles after that. And then you just leave a little bit of space there to put the grout. So do you want to try it? Sure. So there's the trowel. Get tiling. The subway tiles look so classic, they're timeless, and they're going to make such a big difference. It's just going to look elegant and modern and up-to-date, and that's what buyers are looking for. It's been a long day, so we're saying goodbye to Tommy and Heather to keep the final results a surprise. See you all later. Have fun. Back to work. Let's go. Now it's time to let the pros finish up the tricky bits in the kitchen and get stuck in upstairs. We took down the wallpaper in here because wallpaper doesn't last in bathrooms because the moisture in the air makes it peel. With the major project almost complete, all that's left is the finishing touches. Replacing an outdated light fixture is a great way to instantly contemporise the space. This is a traditional dining room, but the colours and the accessories give it a really modern feel. Buyers thought this kitchen looked old, so we painted the cupboards, put new handles on, and created a really chic backsplash. Make sure your countertops are completely clutter-free. Not only will they be easy to clean for showings, but it also makes room for a few splashes of colour. Neutral colours also help lighten and brighten a space. But to keep the room from looking bland, add throw pillows in organic patterns. This was not a relaxing space when it was bright pink. We've taken out the gym equipment and we've painted over the bubblegum pink. Bedrooms should be calming spaces that you want to retreat to, and you get that look by sticking to pale colours. In the bathroom, invest in new hand towels and a fresh shower curtain. Use them strictly when you have showings. Come on in. Oh, wow. Isn't it fantastic? It is. It's beautiful. Before, this two-toned space felt dated and cramped. Now it's a big, bright, welcoming dining area. I love that. It doesn't even look like our dining room. Very nice. You noticed this lovely wainscoting there? Yeah, I did. I did. Yes, That's you did. It's beautiful, and you did something without your daddy. <laughs> the wainscoting is quite traditional, mm -hmm. but because it's painted this painted pale colours, don't you think it looks much more modern? Oh, yeah. So what do you think buyers will think of the dining room now? They'd be crazy not to like it. Yeah. Do you recognise your hutch? Yeah. It looks a lot better like this. It was too big for the space before. It's all about, you know, making rooms feel bigger. Oh, 
my gosh. It doesn't even look like the same kitchen. Wow. That is beautiful. Very nice. The tiling that you tiled. I know. Wow. I feel kind of handy now. She did this. She did that. But I, I'm very, very proud of her uh, for getting her hands dirty. Mm -hmm. And look. Matching mm -hmm. handles. Yeah. And Matching they're all handles. There. They're all there. And here we are. Your brand new eating kitchen area. I love that. Yeah. This is for every day. Yes. Is it just me or does this room feel twice as wide? A lot bigger. Before you had the sofa like this, mm -hmm. so it sort of cut up the room. It's still the same bits of furniture, but we just by moving them around, we've opened up the room. It does feel brighter, it feels bigger. I think taking out the safe was a, was a big thing, but um, that is much prettier. Come on in. Oh, wow. Very, very nice. Beautiful. Quite personally, I kind of enjoyed swimming in the ocean while you're taking a shower, but this would appeal to more buyers. Buyers don't really like peeling wallpaper. Mm -hmm. It's quite funny, I was a bit worried at first because the fish tile really didn't want to move, it was stuck to the wall, so you had to cut them all out and replace it with drywall. But now you've got this really nice finish. This is a selling point now, rather than negative. When you're selling your house, that's what you want to do. You want to not give the buyers any excuse to either lowball you on the price or just not buy. Now, anyway, I want to show you the, what was formerly known as the pink gym. Welcome to your new guest bedroom. Oh my gosh, it's completely different. I don't think buyers could see past the pink and the gym equipment. This is a really, really nice grown up guest bedroom now. Yes, it's very warm, very inviting. I couldn't be happier. I think it's just absolutely beautiful. It looks completely different. Mm -hmm. When we walked in, I was completely speechless. I, it doesn't even look like my house. I'd have to say that my favorite room would be Probably the formal dining room. I'm a big fan of the, of the Wayne's coating. It makes it feel a lot more elegant. It makes me more optimistic that we can sell the house. But the most important thing is not whether, in some ways, you like it, it's whether buyers like it. Absolutely. And I think this house now ticks all the boxes. Great curb appeal, finished inside, modern kitchen and fantastic big bedrooms. Those are all things that buyers are looking for. And you've got them here. It's a complete package. I agree. You agree. So what we need to do now is get them buyers in. Oh, so, right. That's good. Sounds good. And potential buyers are loving it. It is wonderful. Completely different house. The dining room just really pops. It is so fresh and inviting. I love the lighter colors. Love the wainscoting. Love the seating area upstairs. Love that new bathroom. Can't believe it's the same one. Oh my gosh, the kitchen looks so much nicer now. And just adding that backsplash makes it look polished. Everything is fresh, beautiful. Absolutely love it. And now it makes sense to buy it. Petra and Patrick need to sell their house to get their kids into a new school. It is frustrating that we haven't sold the property. But buyers can't get past the eclectic decor. It's a little frightening. It's like they're watching you. It was terrifying. <laughs> I wanted everything to be a little bit scary. With a budget of $5,000 and some clever staging and design tricks, it's better to keep things simple and neutral. I'm going to transform this unsellable house into one that sells. That's so good. Home is where the heart is and a place to make your own, unless you plan on selling. And that means putting the personal away. Downtown Savannah, Georgia is a historic community teeming with stylish attractions. Historic homes here are novel, full of character and in high demand. Except for this house. This 3,200 square foot, four bedroom, two and a half bath home listed at $650,000 has been on the market for seven months. Petra and Patrick are two artists who purchased this home five years ago. Petra and I love to take old houses and uh, renovate them, make them new. We decided that we wanted to come in and, and take this house and, and make it beautiful again. However, once the family grew, with the addition of three-year-old Mia and five-year-old son Ryder, upkeep on this large home became a daunting task. 
it is frustrating that we haven't sold the property. It's been on the market for quite a long time, and I think that we have a beautiful property here. It's a beautiful home, but it might not be for everybody. <laughs> Could Petra's unique design choices be at fault? Petra's taste is unusual, I guess, on some points. I just like strange things. Maybe that's a little bit of me. Maybe I'm strange. <laughs> She might have gone a little bit overboard in some of the decorations and what she did. I guess what it is, it's almost like the artist in me, I think. You know, you want people to stop and look at stuff. It's, it's like theatrical, almost. Love that. With the couple anxious to move before the start of the new school year, they're somewhat ready for some radical changes to this unsellable home. Petra and I have made our home the way that we like it. For Sophie to come in and change the way that looks is a little bit difficult for us to swallow, I think. Since ultimately the goal is for us to sell our home, we have to change a lot of things in order for that to happen. This is an absolutely beautiful Victorian house downtown, but it's been on the market for seven months, so I'm guessing the problems are going to be on the inside. Are you quite frustrated? Yeah, it's definitely been a lot of frustration. So what would be excellent if I could take a tour and you just show me around and then we can see what the problems are? Sure, that sounds great. Okay. So, obviously, Victorian. That's kind of what I was going for. The paint color. Dark. Dark. Yeah. I'm definitely the one to blame for the colors. <laughs> <laughs> Did you buy these pictures? <laughs> yeah. I wanted to keep a Victorian feel in right. the house. That's why I wanted everything to be kind of old uh -huh. and maybe a little bit scary. Old and scary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that sells houses. <laughs> so what's through here? Uh, this is the parlor. Again, is this your paint choice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was hard, you know, when I picked the stripes first, mm -hmm. then yeah. I was really stuck with trying to match everything else through the house to yeah. make it more like a flow. Because of that, of course, it got dark. It did. It's very Victoriana. Wow, who is he? That's Mikey. Mikey. Yeah. Tell me about Mikey. He was a birthday present uh -huh. from Patrick. She said, you know, wouldn't it be great to have, you know, <laughs> uh, animal head? And so I thought, well, I'll, I'll play the game and I'll go along. OK. Yeah. I have, a, I have a secret to tell you. I also have a boar's head that I was given as a wedding present from my brother-in-law. <laughs> His name's Tommy, and he is at the top of the stairs. Excellent. And he even has a hat. Oh, wow. wow. So I, I understand, <laughs> but I think some buyers might be less thrilled by the dead animals. Mikey might scare a few people off. <laughs> Talking about scary, whoa, what is this? <laughs> oh, it's a decapitated. Yeah, she's got a limb or two missing. <laughs> she is terrifying. Oh, look, she moves. As... She does move. <laughs> I know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is she doing here? We actually got those mostly to use for painting props when okay. we make artwork. Yeah. Okay. But then I thought that she fit in pretty well. <laughs> Are you trying to purposely scare buyers? <laughs> it's like, welcome to the creepy. <laughs> so again, a little on the dark side. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like a plumish dark. Tell you what, I would dark. not eat a plum if it was this colour. Because <laughs> 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 it would have been off many years ago. <laughs> Patrick, is that you in a bath? Uh, it is. That's uh, one of my first paintings I did for uh, grad school. It is beautiful. Problem is, is they always say when you're selling a house, you should try and depersonalize a bit. Right. And I think that probably includes the semi-naked pictures of the homeowners. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I think so. <laughs> maybe, maybe. A formal dining room, excellent. I'm guessing this is a Petra paint choice. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> it's interesting what you were saying before about the flow and the paint colour. You have achieved that, and the paint colours do actually complement each other. They're just very, very dark. Yeah. What is that? Oh, our door stopper. That is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> but it works. It, well, it does work. It's, it keeps the door open. So. To be fair, it's a very effective door stop. <laughs> it's it also is. great for when we're sitting here eating dinner to scare the kids into finishing their vegetables. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is not just a property show, it's also a parenting <laughs> show. Oh, wow, this is a fabulous house. But we, we need to make it a bit more modern, I think, and a bit less scary. <laughs> Houses in this neighborhood are selling for between two hundred and thirty-five and six hundred thousand dollars Petra and Patrick at six hundred and fifty is on the high end and needs to show much better to beat out the competition. The couple's realtor, Don, knows what the couple's up against. 
they have not been willing to remove all the artwork or change the colors in the house. And it's extremely frustrating for me, especially because I feel like the house is outstanding and uh, it's a very saleable house. I've asked Don to hold an open house to see what potential buyers think. Oh. Oh. Dark. I can't stand the colors. For being such a big space with tall ceilings, you kind of expect to have more light. The furniture is too heavy. They make it just kind of close in on me. Kind of like a setting of a haunted house, a horror movie flick. It's a little frightening. Dolls are creeping me out. <laughs> well, it's like they're watching you. They have a lot of stuff. The art is very distinctive. <laughs> Unique. <laughs> Unique. <laughs> I could, you know, do without the boards, too. Yeah. <laughs> the drapes on the windows, the paint colors, and a lot of the personal stuff around the house, it's distracting to buyers. It's not moving ready. There's yeah. painting. Yeah, there's a, a good bit of painting that's left here, for sure. You want to just be able to walk in? Yeah, and yeah, live. I do. The buyer expects the house to be moving ready. It's going to take a lot of effort and time and even money to change what's in the house now. Well, we had some very useful feedback from the open house. One of the first things they commented on was the dark colours, which mm -hmm. is to be expected. Yeah. They thought it would take quite a lot of work to repaint it, and they thought that the colours made the room feel a bit smaller. Yeah. They found the babies a bit creepy. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, you admitted that you use them to scare your children, so... <laughs> <laughs> you can't be surprised that other people might find them scary. Yeah. yeah. We got a lot of comments on the taxidermy. Taxidermy is very cool at the moment, but some people don't like it. So I think if it's, they're taken down, then you're not going to scare anyone away. The thing is, is if they'd said things that you can't change, you know, I would feel, like, depressed by it. Mm -hmm. But the fact is, the bones of this house are sublime. All we need to do is take away some of the more zany bits, take down some of the artwork, and put brighter colours in, and this house is going to sell itself. Whatever's going to... Help sell our house. Excellent. We're all for it. Yeah. I have a total budget of $5,000 and a lot of ideas on how to get this house sold. Starting in the entryway, we'll paint over the dark stripes and add a new light fixture to brighten the space. Subtle art, simple blinds and a new carpet runner will give it a tidy, streamlined appearance. The parlour will get an airier look with a subdued blue colour and contemporary chandelier. The furniture will get a facelift and be repositioned for better flow. New art and accessories will broaden the appeal of the room. The living room will have a similar colour palette of cool pastels. I'll add a sideboard and reposition the furniture to balance the room. Slip covers will add some extra colour and new lamps and accessories will add warmth. The dining room will have similar colours on the walls, also brightened with new lighting. The area rug will introduce yellow and green to separate this room from the others. Bright accessories will also enhance the space. I think they're ready to make the changes, so it should be an exciting couple of days. I think Patrick and Petra took the feedback from potential buyers quite well. They realised that we need to make these changes if we're going to get this house sold. Bye-bye, Mikey. I might even have to say that this one is borderline scary. What do you think of these dolls? Do you think they're pretty or do you think they're scary? No. no. <laughs> See, you do, a little bit. <laughs> Let's put them in the box. Excellent. With the scary dolls and taxidermy out of the way, the crew can get down to work. In the meantime, I'm sending Petra and Patrick to see a house that sold quickly in their neighbourhood to help them better understand what buyers are looking for. This 2300 square foot house has three bedrooms and three and a half baths. It sold for $530,000 after five months on the market. Oh. This is different. It's bright. Our house looks quite dark compared to this. It's nice. It's just a different feel than I think what we're used to and what we appreciate. I don't know if I'm willing to give up the boar's head yet. <laughs> <laughs> this area here, segue between the living room and the dining room is nice. It's a little smaller than ours because they don't actually have a separate dining room like yeah. we do. So, but they still use the space really well. You can go upstairs. Yeah. This is cute. Oh. I like it. Nice colors and uh, pretty simple. This artwork is pretty neat. Yeah. This is nice. Yeah. I love our house and what we have in it, but this definitely yeah. feels more appealing to more people. If we could change the colors and do some things a little bit differently and sell it just like these people did, 
uh, that I think that'd be great. The striped walls are gonna take a lot of work to paint over. The gold color was painted on top of the burgundy walls and tape was used to make sure that the lines were straight, which is great, but it left little ridges that now need to be sanded so that the walls are completely smooth before we paint over them. Hi guys, how are you doing? Hey. Good, how are you? Very good. Wow. It's really empty. A I lot know. of space. A lot of space, but the weirdest thing is that it looks darker, the paint, now that everything's been taken out, which I don't entirely understand. Yeah. But, um, so tell me about the comparable house. Was it amazing? Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think made it sell? The colours seemed to match pretty well in the house. Was it painted dark colours or light colours? It's definitely light colours. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I think if you painted your house similar colours to the comparable house, you would be amazed at the immediate effect. Yeah, I agree. Great. Yeah. Excellent. Well, I think what we should do now is get you into some work clothes because I've got some projects for okay. you. Okay. Right. Thank you. A massive paint job is underway. Meanwhile, Patrick's building a frame for an art piece I've commissioned from the couple. Sophie had mentioned before that some of our artwork was a little too personal and intense to be able to be on display in the house. After talking to Patrick, we came up with the idea of doing something a little more contemporary and abstract as well. The work is different than what we would normally do, but I think nonetheless it's very interesting. I love this big grand hallway. Yeah, it is very nice, I must say. But I do think buyers will think it's going to take forever to paint it. Painting high walls can be intimidating for most people, but I was able to utilize an extension pole to make light work of a very high wall. I think a lot of people like the dark wainscoting. I think sometimes you can paint it, but this isn't in bad condition. I like the color of it. Oh, for sure. By painting the upper walls light, we can maintain the historical feel of the house by keeping the wainscoting natural dark. And who better to paint it than two experienced painters? <laughs> you're doing a great job. Thank you. OK. If you're not an artist, you can find generic art at home decor stores. But Petra and Patrick love to create, so they're working on a piece to hang in the dining room. Hey, how are you? I'm very well. So what's this? It's a photograph that I took, and I transformed it in a computer program. No, I think it's going to look absolutely beautiful, and it's exactly what we want because it's colourful, but it's not too personal. It's going to take a little while, yeah. but um, <laughs> I, uh, I will get there. I, I think know. it's going to look fab. Have you ever painted a chair before? Yeah. Yes. No, you haven't. You dip the brush in like this, and then go crazy. Careful, remember, only a little bit of paint. It's dripping. Oh, no, drip. You don't actually need that much paint here. Right. Yes. This might require a sanding job. <laughs> it's kind of a distressed look. Here, let <laughs> me do this. There we go. Look at that. Well, thanks for today. I thought it was great, and I'm really excited about seeing the art projects on the wall. And thank you guys for your help painting. You were brilliant. <laughs> but uh, we've still got a bit of a way to go, haven't we, we David? We have a lot of walls to paint yet. OK. So if you wouldn't mind leaving and then coming back for the big reveal. Sounds right. good. Bye, guys. OK, bye. bye. We'll okay, see bye. you guys later. Bye. bye. With the family gone, our crew has lots of work ahead, starting with contemporising the Victorian furniture. Victorian furniture has a lot of carved detail that you really want to maintain when you're painting it. By using a sprayer, we can apply multiple thin, even coats of paint, but avoid having paint collect in those fine grooves of detail. Carpenter's woodwork should always be preserved. Slip covers are an absolute lifesaver. They're a cheap and easy way of updating old furniture to fit in with our new design scheme. We're painting and priming the sliding doors to match in with the new colour scheme and create a flow right through to the kitchen. We did a number of projects in this house. First we painted, after that we did some painting and followed it all up by a little more painting. I'm painted out. By lightening it up, it drew the eyes to the ceiling, made the rooms feel bigger and made some continuity throughout the entire house. The family will be back soon, so it's time to put on the finishing touches. 
The red and gold stripes were a very bold design choice, but when you're decorating your house for sale, it's better to keep things simple and neutral. Inexpensive accessories can have a big impact on staging. These cushions help to fuse the contemporary and antique elements of this room. Buyers thought that the red velvet on this sofa made this room feel like a funeral parlour, which is not a good look, but with a simple reupholstery job, we brought it bang up to date. Petra and Patrick's new artwork is the perfect example of what you want to hang on your walls when you're selling. It's bright, it's beautiful, but it's not too intense and in your face. There is generic art available for all budgets. This light fixture is a masterclass in combining the contemporary with the traditional. Because buyers like period details like the ceiling rows, but they also like updated fixtures. What do you think? Very different. Before, the entryway gave an underwhelming first impression, but we've improved its appeal to buyers with light paint and streamlined neutral artwork. I'm afraid the red and gold paint I know, <laughs> it looks so good. Plants are really, really nice. I love this. What do you think of this new color? This is beautiful and it really makes the wood look even prettier. Love these lights, those are awesome. Very, very nice. Excellent. Well, come on through. Wow. It's a bit of a difference. It is. It's much, really pretty. The parlour looked like a spooky museum, but now it's bright and cheery with new colours and art that are more broadly appealing to buyers. This new layout maximises the space in the seating area. The furniture, this chair is really great. I mean, I love the blues. This, I think, it looks fantastic. It's amazing that that's the same couch from that red and gold Victorian couch. The color is beautiful. It's like a lavender. It definitely has much more of an open feel, for sure. It's not as closed in. Welcome to your new bright sitting room. Wow. Before, this sitting room looked gloomy and uninviting. So we updated it with neutral pastels that buyers will prefer. I added lamps to brighten the room and show how this can be a comfortable reading area when the TV's off. I would have never thought of putting lights behind a couch. It looks really, really good. We took down some of the artwork and replaced it with these pictures of crumbling plaster. Look at this. This is a project with Mia oh, and Ryder. Yeah. <laughs> and actually it looks very cool. When Mia was like... <laughs> I was like, oh, this is not never That's paint with cute. children. That's, That's great. very nice. I love it. Great That's space. Nice. And we still have the TV. Yes, you've, you still have the TV, so this is obviously still a family room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you all want to sit on the sofa, you might have to take some of the pillows <laughs> off. <laughs> That's a lot of pillows. With the way the house looks right now, I think it's going to appeal to so many more people walking through the door. We're definitely excited to see um, what comes next. We're excited for the next people to come in and see the house and hear their comments on what they think of the house. Welcome to your new dining room. Oh my gosh, wow. look! <laughs> the dining room put buyers off with overly personal art and eccentric decor. But now it's perfect for any family to enjoy because of its more everyday style. Are we having dinner? <laughs> yes, apparently so. It looks really good. Oh, there's our painting. Yeah. yeah. Look, yeah. I love this, by the way. I think this is absolutely beautiful. It works so well in here. It really does. The room does feel more like a dining room now. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, way more. We want people to imagine themselves in this space. And yeah. look, come here, look back. I know, wow. beautiful. Really, really, really pretty. Better mm -hmm. look. Oh, what, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? I am offended. <laughs> I know. That decapitated baby had to go. You try. <laughs> it's, it's an owl. It's close enough, and it doesn't still have big, scary eyes. It's in the eyes. Uh, yeah. the kids. See, it has a face. Yes. Yeah. But it's just not a decapitated doll's head. I think that we're very optimistic that, that the next few showings and when the people see the house are going to be very impressed with what they see. And I think the things that could have been changed have been changed. And so we're, we're very positive with our outlook now. The whole house works, and I'm, I'm very excited. And I really think this house will just fly. 
I think the house is going to sell fast. I really do. I think the next person that walks through that house is going to want to buy it.